Half of the debate over how to prevent future Sandy Hooks seems to focus on mental illness. And there's a strong view that building the right profile of school shooters will allow law enforcement to prevent future tragedies. But that's far from certain. The FBI, in a report on school shootings, concludes no one factor is decisive. Adam Lenz's haunted face joins a long, sorry list of those who have killed at America's schools, then killed themselves. While their crimes bear some grim similarities, those of us left to wonder what set them off remain at a loss. We learn of Adam Lenz's social awkwardness and wonder if being a loner equals being a killer, or if being the victim of bullies will unleash another Virginia Tech massacre. Dr. Ken Manga says it's not that simple. We may have that sense of shyness, may have that sense of aloneness, may or may not have Asperger's, may or may not have parents who have weapons. That doesn't mean that they're Adams. Dr. Mangus says we may never know whether Adam Lenz's crime was rooted in some mental defect or in a biological one. But he had a disturbed mentality that resulted in him feeling threatened. And he had the opportunity to wep with a weapon and he had an impulse control problem, and he had some stimulus that went off. We don't know what that was. The question most of us are asking in the aftermath of Adam Lenz's horrendous crime is, when should we be concerned that someone we know might be planning something dangerous? Dr. Mangus we says we should listen closely. And the greater the likelihood of those individuals specifying a particular time, person, location, that's when you know that they have formulated a plan. And Dr. Mangus says that's when you should report the person, their behavior, their remarks to some authority. You may feel disloyal or like a snitch. Then again, you may also save some lives. Right now, like